absolutely by far the most common comment i get on my channel is thomas i really want to learn how to code but i just don't know how to get started so let me tell you the first thing which seems very trivial but as much as you might not believe it this is actually the place where most people fail is understanding why you want to learn to code and i know i know before you like click away this is some like wishy washy like fluffy stuff without actual content don't worry we will get to do the resources the courses that you should do the project that you should build and that kind of stuff later but before we need to talk about the why because it is so important the reason why anyone ever succeeds at anything is because they really really want to succeed at that thing the reality in life that if you want to be really good at something you can get good up to a certain point without being super passionate about it but unless you have that why unless you have that burning desire to actually really really to be the best to get really good at something it's going to be really difficult for you to beat all the people who do have that desire if you don't have that already naturally the way to get that is to find the reason why you want to learn in the code in the first place it could be getting a high paying job maybe you want to make a good life for yourself that's a perfectly fair enough reason to learn how to code and actually i would even argue that the tech industry is the best industry in the world to get rich and to actually have a great life while making a lot of money maybe you just want to learn it because you want to automate your life maybe you want to create these little programs to like help you or you just want a new hobby maybe you find coding to be a really intellectually stimulating and you want something to work on to keep progressing and that's fine as well for me actually a combination of pretty much all of these different things are a lot more but it's finding at least that one reason of why you're even doing this and that's really crucial because if you don't have your why if you don't have your reason you might stick to it for like week two weeks maybe even a month and once you hit the dip aka when it gets difficult you're going to end up quitting if you don't really really want to get past that into the next level so that's the first step the second step is to set yourself a practical goal of what and when you concretely want to achieve relating to this why that you just discovered in step one and again i know this is sort of like a fluffy uh set goals have the right mindset blah 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 after that we'll get to the courses and stuff which i'm sure you came here for but before we do also need to talk about this you need to set yourself some sort of deadline of by when you want to achieve something for example you set yourself the deadline of you want to get a job within one year i think that's a very reasonable goal but the reason why setting this concrete goal is super important the way we work as humans is that work tends to fill the time that you allocate to it it's actually setting that deadline even if it's a very artificial deadline it's setting that deadline which is sort of going to then push you okay if i want to achieve this in one year here's what i need to do on a, on a daily basis if you feel like you're falling behind it's going to push you to actually accelerate your pace and to keep going even further when you might not even feel like it's having that concrete goal is super super important and on top of that i highly recommend that you like a, for example an hourly goal every day for example setting yourself a goal of i will code for two hours every single day no matter what maybe you'll take like a sunday off if you want to i don't even do that but you can essentially setting this kind of goal on a daily basis and making coding a habit super super important because otherwise you'll just end up slacking off and having this thing that you just need to do on a daily basis is one that's going to keep you actually motivated and it's going to keep you disciplined to actually do it every single day now the next step is to start with a course called cs50 and i know i know if you've seen my channel in the past i'm going to sound like like a broken record at this point because i always talk about this course but the reason i talk about this course so much is because it's so incredibly good for beginners and i'm going to keep recommending this course till the day i die if you want to be the best programmer you also want to understand computer science so computer science is essentially the fundamentals of how computers work and sort of the theory behind what programming even is. I will say that if you are serious about this, you should absolutely start with the fundamentals of computer science as well as the fundamentals of programming. And the reason why CS50 is so great because it gives you just the fundamentals that you need as a beginner, as well as giving you an excellent introduction programming in C, Python, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, as well as sort of the broad context around the field of programming and computer science. This course is really challenging. It's gonna kick your ass, but it's the best course out there for beginners, in my opinion. But after that, you should start thinking about what area of programming, as well as which programming language you actually want to specialize in, which is where the next step of picking a language comes in. The way I would think about this is that if you know, you already know 
the specific type of coding that you're most interested in. Let's say you really want to go into AI, then that's very helpful because then you will know that you should probably start with Python simply because it's the most common language used in the AI industry. And you would find this out by just Googling. And then essentially you just go from there to the next step. But if you don't know which area you want to get into, which is most people, which was also me when I was getting into coding, I had no idea about like web development, like microservices, all these things. I had no idea what they even are, let alone which one I'd be most interested in. For most people, the most general public, if you just want to get into coding and then figure out which to, what to specialize in later, I would either pick Python or JavaScript, simply because they are the most popular languages at the moment, because there's most job opportunities in these languages and because they are very versatile, very applicable to a lot of different areas. So pick one of these languages, doesn't even matter which one, pick one, okay? Just pick one. And then you search for beginner tutorials or beginner courses on that language. For Python, options that you can choose are either the CS50 Python course, which I haven't done myself, but I love CS50 courses, so I'm sure it's great. The Python for everybody course on Coursera, that's really great. Or if you're willing to invest money and get a bit of a more comprehensive resource, Zero to Mastery has a bunch of different different courses for all types of different languages, Python included, and you get access to their whole catalog for one subscription of like 30 something dollars a month, I think. But if you don't want to invest money, it's completely fine to choose one of the free ones. If you go for JavaScript, and especially if you think you might be interested in web development, what I would highly recommend you starting with is the Odin project. This is completely free online bootcamp kind of thing. I did it for a bit myself. I ended up not finishing it because I was actually more interested in like Python and data science type of applications. So I ended up moving onto other type of resources. The Odin project is a really great one to start with. Other one is Free Code Camp. Also, most of it is in JavaScript, I think. Okay, again, a completely free resource online. And these are exactly the ones that you will find online if you search for beginner course like recommendations and stuff. So one of those things, or again, Zero to Mastery is either the web development bootcamp path or there, I think they have a JavaScript course as well. There's a bunch of other courses out there that you can just do to sort of get familiarized into the area of coding and programming. Uh, Zero to Mastery, by the way, I am affiliated with them. If you wanna get 10% off, you can click the link down below in the description and use my code. So then step four, is to listen to yourself and pivot based on your interests. And this is sort of, once you are already start learning to code, you're already doing one of these courses, you're doing some, some like practice projects. Throughout this whole process, what you should also be doing in my opinion is researching a lot into the industry, researching a lot into the different areas, watching a lot of YouTube videos on like mobile development versus web development, maybe AI. Over time, sort of figure out sort of the different branches in within like coding to figure out which one you might be most interested in. And it could be that halfway through your web development course in JavaScript, you figure out that actually I am more interested in mobile development. This sounds more interesting. The, the salaries are a bit higher in mobile development. And then you can sort of pivot based on your interest. And so throughout all of this, you are learning something, you are doing something, but you're also figuring out what you you might want to be more interested in because eventually you do want to specialize in something. It's, I don't think it's very useful to learn 10 languages in like a very shallow basic level without actually properly knowing how to do anything. The most exciting to me about tech is that there's so much to explore. There's so many areas. You're sort of going one direction a bit. Okay, maybe this isn't it. And then you go somewhere else. And eventually you discover the thing that you actually want to specialize in. And then you just keep going deeper into that. And also at this point, we're getting into step five, which is just building, building, building and building a lot and just keep building essentially. Courses are great, but you'll never properly learn anything by just doing courses. The way you properly learn something is by actually utilizing it. Our brains are wired to be good at the things that are useful to us, that allow us to solve actual problems that we want to solve, rather than just watching some tutorials and like sort of getting a very shallow understanding of something without actually properly even knowing how to do it. This is not a very efficient way to teach our brain stuff. The way your brains are actually going to learn something is figuring out projects that you want to build and then just building them. And it's completely fine that every time when you start building one of these projects, you are going to have absolutely no idea what to do. So what you do is you go on Google, you figure out how to solve the specific questions you have. And throughout this trial and error process, the coding concepts that you learn in these courses are going to finally be ingrained into your brain. And I would even say that very early on, while you're still doing these courses, as soon as you can, you should just figure out what is the simplest 
thing that I can make with the things that I have learned so far. And the great thing about a lot of these resources is that they actually include projects in between. As soon as you can, they will actually tell you to build something. So sort of if you just follow these boot camps or these courses, probably going to be fine because they're going to tell you to build stuff anyway. But even after finishing that, you're just going to have to think about what do I actually want to build using these skills and then make them. At this point, this is sort of a semi-optional step. I hope you're going to do it, but it's to delve a bit deeper into computer science as well. You understand what it is from doing CS50. But if you want to be a really good program and you really want to excel in this area, you also want to understand stuff like data structures and algorithms, which is sort of the fundamental theory of computer science slightly more deeply. So what I would recommend some sort of either online course, Zero to Mastery has a great one, or a textbook if you want to go really deep like I did. The one that I've done is Algorithms by Robert Sedgwick. I'm going to link it down below because this is something that if you want to apply, say for the fan companies, for example, you're going to need to understand data structures and algorithms because that is what they test in their interviews. And beyond that, doing other stuff around computer science, like understanding computer architecture, computer systems, programming languages more deeply, cybersecurity, all these different areas of computer science is going to be helpful to you down the line. And now, if you're still looking for your first job, perhaps going and studying systems, for example, isn't the best bang for your buck right now, but this is just something to keep in mind that eventually you will want to learn at least the fundamentals of to sort of have the best understanding of this area and to be the best programmer possible. If you want a specific curriculum, I've made a video about this before. I essentially constructed myself a complete free computer science degree from online materials, which you can go duplicate that notion template with all the courses that you should do. It is supposed to replace a full three year computer science degree. So it is going to take a long time to do all of it, but at least that's going to be a great starting place for you to start working on sort of on the side. I hope that makes sense. Let me know what you're doing right now in terms of coding, which courses you're taking, which languages you're learning. Let's get sort of a discussion going down below if you enjoyed this video i would highly recommend you hit the like button down below because it tells me this was actually helpful to someone and if you're new here my name is internet make coder in this channel my goal is to give you the strategies tools and methods to learn to code effectively what i think is even more important than having the right course or the right tutorials is having the right methods and having the right mindsets to learn to code effectively because i honestly believe that if you have the right methods and the right strategies you can learn to code much much faster than most people so that's mostly what I talk about on this channel. If this sounds valuable or interesting to you, I would highly recommend hitting the subscribe button down below so that you do not miss my next upload, which will be actually what will be my next very good question. And on the topic of having the right study methods and strategies, I highly recommend you watch this video where I discuss one of the most effective things that I have learned personally about how to learn to code effectively using neuroscience to optimize your learning. I think it should be a highly, highly useful video, a highly, highly useful technique that you should have in your bag as you get started on your learn to code journey.